the steel end cap fitted is fitted into grooves cut in the timber post. The working stresses for the post are 1.8 megapascal in shear parallel to the range and 5.5 megapascal in bearing perpendicular to the range. Determine the smallest safe dimensions A and B. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Also, mark the like button, comment, and share our video, and you get 10 years of good luck. Try it, it works. Alright, without any further ado, let's begin. So, you have the grooves cut. Uh, actually, you have a timber post, and this is the end cuff, the end cap. So, it's it fitted into these grooves. So, if I draw a free body diagram for this one, it will be look. It would look like this. So here's a free body diagram for it. So this is a side view uh, down here. So this is the side view. You have a shear right here. So when when you have a force applied on both ends pulling this apart, the shear force is right here. It is tend to wreck the uh, the the wood. This part of the, the wood only this part. Okay, and the bearing, and uh, the bearing stress uh, will tear off the groove. This part of the wood, the other post, it's only this. So th this cap will pull this away. Okay, and that's for bearing. That is for bearing stress for the shear stress. It, the crack will create along the wood. Okay, so. If you can imagine, if you can imagine this one, here is another uh, 3D dimension, so that you can imagine. So this is the groups, this one, the top and the bottom, and the cap is in. Then this post is inserted into the cap is inserted into the post. So the cap C inserted into here. So this uh, little pointing out part of the cap will insert it into here and pull to secure this one. Okay. All right. So. At first look, in first looking at this one, it looks hard, but uh, when it actually not that hard, it's super easy as long as you understand how it works and identify where is the bearing stress, where where the bearing stress ha appear, where the bearing stress occurs, where the shear stress occurs. Okay, so uh, first of all, we need to find the bearing stress. So the formula for the bearing stress is equal to the normal force divide by the area and in this case looking back to this one the bearing stress like I mentioned is this part so what is the area of this part so the area of that part is this grooves right here so go down how much and to uh, the length is how much so that is the area so up here you have this length is a in the length of the post on this side is 100 so the area is 100 mm times a Okay, which I have here, and the normal force is equal to the for the pulling force here, twelve thousand divided by two, because you have one on top and one on the bottom, one on top and one on the bottom. Okay, so that's why I divided into two. You put this in calculator. Oh, again, and the bearing stress is given as five point five m megapascal. Okay, so rearrange this one you saw for a, and you would get ten point nine mm. Okay, now doing the same thing, same process for the shear stress. So shear stress is equal to shear force divided by the area. Now, what is the area? The area again, the crack cre is creating along the post, parallel to the post for the shear. Okay. So this, what is this area? Look back to the original figure. So the area is this part. So you have this length, this dimension, and the dimension of this part from this side to this side. Okay. So you have B times 100 mm. That is your area. And what is the shear force? Again, the force is 12,000 kN. So you have one on top and one on the bottom. So that's why I divide it into two. And set this this expression equal 1.8 as it is the maximum allowable shear stress. I'll rearrange this one and you would get B equals 33.3 mm. Okay, so that is your final solution. That's it. If you find our video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.